right, so check this out. This is how I've been parking the bike ever since I got it. I just moved my car up a little bit and I park it right behind it. I'm not sure if it's loud, but no one said anything yet, so I guess everyone's pretty chill over here. Can't even see it from back here. All right, I'm just gonna drop off the car again. Guys, it's been such a headache. Like really, come on. I've had this tune for, I don't know, a few thousand kilometers and I, I think it's been more of a headache than it's been fun. I'm sick of it. Let's get this. I'm at the McDonald's that I went to when I had the tune installed. Except this time, it's not too happy. Anyway, I feel I need to update you guys because I've been getting a lot, like this has been like probably the focus of the channel for the last couple months. Like people have been messaging me asking me if everything's okay with the tune because they've been thinking about getting it and I honestly don't know what to tell them because I'm in the middle where I'm still trying to get things fixed and I don't know if Dynan has, has it covered yet. Which I think they will. Like I, that's what I've been telling everyone, it's looking good so far. And you know, with all the things that's been happening on the channel lately, I just feel like the name Shundel, Shundel, I even heard Schnoodle one time. I feel like that name doesn't cut it for the channel anymore, so I think I should change the name. Nah, not really, I'm just kidding. But it just feels that way. <laughs> um, yeah, so right now I'm just waiting. Um, they told me to wait about an hour and a half for them to service the vehicle. Hopefully everything gets done right. Um, they said they were going to replace the wiring harness, which is what... Well, they told me that a while ago, and that's what I'm in for. So hopefully everything's get fixed after that, but I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to lose hope here. And honestly, I think the next step, if, if I can't get this thing to work out, I'm just going to make a video of myself uninstalling this freaking thing, man. It's not worth all the trouble. I really don't push the car hard enough to even, I think, justify having the tune or... I don't know, I paid so much for the tune it feels like it, it's kind of bit me in the ass, so I don't know. This is kind of a rant video, but at the same time, it's an update video for you guys. Because, like I said, I've been getting a lot of questions about it and I think there's a lot of people on the fence about it. Um, I, I think it's because a lot of people watched the video where I said a check engine light came on and you know, this was supposed to be the tune to end all tunes, right? No check engine lights. But that's clearly not the case. So, <laughs> I think I'll just update you guys when I get the car back and get the results of this fix. Oh! Oh, two, just two of them. Wow. Just come out of McDonald's and first thing I see are two brothers. So what is this guy? Okay, he's got an auto, okay. A carbon fiber diffuser. Sweet. This guy, oh what? No, no, oh no, that's just like a 228 or 230. I thought he had a quad exhaust for a sec. Because I saw two exit pipes here. <laughs> That's cool. Had me fooled for a second though. Got me excited. Yeah, but this guy looks like he did some work. And it's a 2018. It's the LCI too. You can tell by the wheels. I really like the lip though. See, this is kind of the look I want. Very aggressive, not too low. Looks good. Fitment's nicer than mine, that's for sure. And the black. All black looks so good. Still on it. Looks like they're about to close the hood though, and the engine cover's on. So, I mean, hopefully that's good news. I have no idea. I don't know what to expect. There you go. Hood just closed. Maybe they have the answer, maybe not. We'll see. So I have good news and bad news. Good news is uh, we got all the data that we need, yeah. and uh, the bad news is uh, Dynan's tech support 
they didn't get back to me, and okay. I tried calling them a few times, and I guess, I don't know if they left early today for Friday or whatever, but mm. uh, I can't do any repairs on it until they authorize it. Okay. Uh, I've checked it. All right, no fixes today. <sighs> what a run around I'm getting. Not from these guys, but just the whole process. Yeah, you know what? This bike, all this, has been my outlet for happiness right now. It's been such a nice break from the car. Like, I'm so disappointed about the dynasty. I don't know, this problem has been here ever since, what, like, just the start of the new year? And it's what, like four or five months later? Still not resolved. I took it to the BMW dealership first. I don't know, they band-aid, fix it. They probably just cleared the code, honestly, and replaced the thing. They're like, yeah, whatever, it's done, it's gone. They said they tested the car. It hasn't, like, I, I wrote down the odometer reading, like, when I first dropped off the car. And when I got it back, it was like a kilometer. But yeah, so that fix didn't work, and now I'm like, uh, performance one, and man, they are too busy. I think they're just not, I don't know, they're not able to book me enough. I have every second Friday off, and that's the only way I've been able to go, otherwise their weekends are booked. And it's been such a slow, slow process. So the next step for them, apparently Diamond got back to them. And what they told them was, try to recode the whole car first. And that could take like 30 minutes, it could take an hour, it could take a whole day apparently. So they have no way of telling me how long it'll take to do this. So I'm going to be wasting my Saturday, this coming Saturday I'm going and I'm just dropping off the car and I'm just hoping it's going to be quick, I don't even know what I'm going to do. Oh man, I've been there way too many times already. So they're going to recoat the car and if that doesn't work, then they're going to replace the harness and I think they should just go straight to replacing the harness honestly, come on, recoating the whole car. I've never seen that as the fix yet, suggested online. The harness thing I've seen it come up a couple times. but. I'm reluctant to uh, install the Dynan springs now too. I'm just like, meh. So meh about Dynan. It like totally killed my love for the car right now. Temporarily. At least until I get everything back and running again. Because trust me, that car is bang for buck. Like you want to get a lot of car, a lot of performance at like a very affordable price. Heck yeah. So that's my updates and because of this, my videos have been coming out much, much slower. Like I really don't want to move on until this is all sorted out. Like I really don't. It's it's bumming me out. I just want to move on and do my stuff already. Because I got a lot of stuff that I want to do with the car. Like it's just really put on hold. Oh, here we go, the slow down. I'm always worried, like I can slow down just in time. But I'm worried about some dude rear-ending me. And I'm gonna go flying, that's it. Why is there traffic right now? I don't wanna do this, it's not that hot today actually. But well, that's a relief. Cause these leathers, man, they know how to keep the heat in. On the bright side, I think I have all the gear for my bike or all the gear that I wanna have, safety-wise, you know. Jacket, pants, boots, gloves, helmet, it's all you need. You gotta be careful of these guys because anyone could just turn in my lane. Like this guy, right here. All right, he's doing it, he's doing it. Oh! Called it! Called it! This lane, you actually, it's an exit lane up there. Like a kilometer away. So what people try to do is they try to skip as much of this line as much as possible and they just merge in the last second. Like if they find a small gap between, you know, me and the next car, they're gonna squeeze their way in. And these guys are going like 70, 80. And we're going like 20. Man, you know the second thing about a GoPro? You never see how beautiful that stuff is. It looks amazing in real life, but man, and the GoPro looks, sounds, looks so flat, looks so far away because of you know the setting of the GoPro. In real life, it looks like massive, it's like mountains and forests, it looks so nice. All right, I'm gonna stop it here for now. There's really not much more to say. I think I'm going to keep providing updates as I get them because you know what, I got to wait every two weeks before I get some new update about the car. 
Um, other than that, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya!